Another piece of equipment that we like to show you is the pillow tanks. Uh, the pillow tanks are stored in the Type 1 trailers. There'll be two of them. These pillow tanks are designed to carry water in the back of our trucks. Uh, they carry about 132 gallons, U.S. gallons of water, which is going to equate to around 1,100 pounds uh, of weight in the back of the truck. So a substantial amount of weight. You want to make sure that each corner of the pillow tank is anchored to uh, a point in the, in the truck bed uh, with, web, with webbing straps, something that's going to tie it together and keep it from moving around. These things will roll around if they're not tied down, which can be very dangerous in the back of the truck. Uh, the pillow tank is filled at the top. You put a hose line inside. It's got a screw off top. Once we're filled, you can seal the water in there by putting the, the top back on. The discharge end of the pillow tank, there's a ball valve which will feed into a suction hose that will attach to the pump. Now each of the Type 1 trailers also carries two of these Honda WX10 pumps. These are a four-stroke pump, so they take straight gas. Make sure we check the oil level before uh, we fire them up as well. Uh, pumps are capable of about 32 gallons a minute. Uh, and uh, they probably got a run time of roughly an hour. Uh, on a full tank of gas. The, uh, they can put out about 52 pounds per square inch pressure, which is pretty adequate for what we want to do when we're mopping up or patrolling uh, you know, areas, assigned areas uh, after the fire has gone through. So we're going to go over the Honda WX10 pump really quick. Uh, it's a standard four-stroke uh, motor, so fairly easy to start. Again, our connection from the ball valve uh, of the pillow tank uh, just make sure that you open the ball valve and of course your line. It comes with a small intake hose or suction hose, connects to the, uh, the suction side of the pump and of course we've got a three quarter inch fitting, uh, garden hose fitting uh, on the discharge end of the pump as well. On this side we have the on off switch located here, so flip the switch to on. We've got our throttle right here. On the opposite side, we have our choke. The choke is on in the upward position. And then, of course, we've got our starter rewind located here. So, pump is in the on position. Increase the throttle just a little bit. Choked on on a cold pump. You got it started. Choke off. Make sure that our exhaust is well away from the pillow tank. One other feature that comes with the pump is a small six foot length of uh, hard suction with a strainer. So if we have to fill the tank uh, from a creek or a lake, we've got the capability to do that as well. 